performance of the boat was, was really good. I, I am also very satisfied with, uh, with our tactics and the crew work. very well, especially in the first uh, part of the race. Messina, for example, we, we made some advantages there. A Soros boat, ott nagyon szépen mentünk, mert egy kis szerencsével nagyon jó áramlási vonalat találtunk, úgyhogy ott nagyon hatékonyan tudtunk átjönni, ott meg is léptünk egy csomó hajótól, meg még egy pár hajót megvertünk, akik ott előtte, ott a zavarosba kicsit elén kerültek. After we had a very light part of the race, I think we did very well. More times we were, we were leading uh, the heat, absolute. So I think uh, we, we have a good uh, chance to, to win this race. According to the forecast, the light forecast, this was our plan, uh, of course. But finally the last uh, leg between uh, Lampedusa and uh, Pantelera was, was a little bit different. Uh, we were a little bit unlucky with the weather. Uh, in this area, uh, between uh, Lampedusa and uh, Malta, where we were stopping practically uh, without any boat fit for six hours. And, and after we get uh, expected uh, strong wind, uh, there is uh, big boats, uh, the Volvo 70s uh, could beat us. Uh, if this light, uh, light uh, patch would, would be a little, a little bit more wind, I think we could make uh, so much gain against them that we could win this race. So we are not far uh, for winning the race. But uh, offshore racing is like that. So I think uh, we, we must be uh, happy and satisfied also. We get practically, I don't know exactly, but around half an hour from the from the in absolute uh, winning boat. So I think it was a it was a good race, and uh, I am happy to uh, to finish after so many days on the water. The foil uh, we we could use, especially at the first uh, uh, land between uh, Malta and uh, the south of Sicily. Uh, especially at the end where, where we get a stronger wind uh, over over 20 knots. We don't need to reef yet, so the DSS is a pretty good idea right now, just to keep the boat smooth with the waves of all the boats we've got in front of us, it uh, gives us a better speed over the ground. Uh, I think we, we made a big gain of that. Uh, we, we jumped uh, into the leading of the race practically, so we could use it also there and, and we, we also had some other uh, reaching. Of course in the light air we are not using it. Advantage of this foil that uh, when, we do, when we don't use we, we don't have any drag because we can pull it back to the, to the hull. So, uh, I think it, it is very good and if, if it is a windy race then it is really helping us because it is an arrow bomb. A great uh, sail which is between A3 and Code Zero uh, from Deutsche a cableless uh, sail, uh, which, is, which is really, really good for our boat as it was retrofitted and it makes much less load on the, on the mast and on the, on the boat because of this sail and, and uh, the huge uh, additional uh, lighting moment that we get from the foil. So it was a very good sail and, and it's really universal. So we, we used it between 4 and uh, 30 knots depending on the the wind force and the wind direction. All our, our sail inventory from Dolce's really made a, a very, very perfect sails for this boat and especially for the foiling.
we have a plan to make the transatlantic in January. I hope we'll be able to uh, because of this uh, pandemic situation. This is the plan and, and after maybe uh, the Caribbean 600. Uh, and our plan is to take uh, part also in the Transpac next year, next summer. And after it, maybe the will be in the home part.